Pilots. Drain Man here, and today I have got a very exciting video. In today's video, we're going to be checking out and we're going to be building the all new Volador. Two VX5 freestyle frame. This is super cool because there was a V1 and now there's a V2. It's by Flyfish RC. I don't even know if you know who that is, but we're about to check them out today and see what they're all about. Let's go. All right, pilots, so here's the deal. Fly Fish RC, what a name. So this is the Volador 2. There is and was a Volador 1. Now, there are different variations of the Volador. So what I have here is the Volador 2 VX5 FPV freestyle frame. But also, <laughs> they have sent me the Volador 2 VD5 Dead Cat FPV frame. Yes, they have sent me two. One is freestyle, one is long range. This is a Dead Cat style frame. So although they're the same, they're a little bit different. This one has the Dead Cat style arms. That's gonna keep the props out of your view. You're gonna put on a bigger motor. We're gonna go over that here in a bit. Now for this video, I wanna build the freestyle frame. If you're interested in seeing me build the Dead Cat Long Range, let me know. In our build today, we are going to be using the Fly Fish motors. Let's go ahead and check these out. This is super cool. So this is a 2207, 1850 kV, gray and purple. Woo Look at that. That is a pretty motor. Look how they come shipped. They're like in a box, like on display. <laughs> so you open your box up. Oh, cool, look, there's everything. Bloop. They even sent me some antennas. We've got a couple different options. We've got some spare battery pads. They've sent me some extra motors. But where this gets really cool is if you want to build and fly the Dead Cat version, then you would use this monster here. Wow, look at the size of that. Whoo, that is a big old motor. So what that is, just for reference, that is a... 2806.51350 kV motor. That is going to be perfect on a long range build. You're going to throw on some props. You're going to get up in the air. You're not going to have any props in your view. And you're just going to sail out into the sky. Where'd he go? <laughs> so that's super cool. Same awesome style. I, I do like it. I like it. I do. And uh, I'm excited to build this one. If you guys want to see that, let me know. If not, I'm going to build it on my own time and enjoy it for me. In our Volador V2 VX5 freestyle build, I am going to put in the all new Hobby Wing stack. It is the same awesome F7 convertible flight controller, but it's their new 65 amp ESC. Awesome, awesome stuff. If you have not seen that, I've got a video on that ESC. I will link that for you down in the video description. Go ahead and check it out. So when I open up the box, you're going to see right on top, we've got our build schematic. This has got every single part that it comes with and how it goes together. So if you're unsure, there's your instructions. I'm going to set that to the side because we may or may not need it. All right, so you get a full 3D print setup. Look at that, you've got everything from arm guards to mounts, camera stuff, everything you could ask for. Here is some very tiny fly fish stickers. <laughs> if you're a sticker guy, sticker it up. Wow, can you see this? Look at that. They did like this really cool like etching carving on the arms. Wow, look at that. This is gonna build a lot of strength when I'm taking an impact and I'm hitting arm after arm after hit after hit. God, that's nice, look at that. I mean, only time will tell how it'll hold up in a crash, but as far as how it looks, well done, Flyfish. That is a beautiful arm, and I'm looking forward to trying it out. Holy cow, I've got nothing but a mess here. Let's go ahead and get this cleaned up. I'm gonna go ahead and build the frame too so we can fully check it out. Let's go ahead and do that now. 
Boom, and there's our Volador 2 complete and ready. Look at that bad beast, man. I will tell you now, putting it together at first gave me a little bit of a hard time because I'm like, where does this go? Where does that go? You know how that goes when you're building a new frame. But once I started rocking and rolling, this went together so beautifully. I am extremely impressed. Look at the way these nuts are on the bottom. Look at that. And then you've got a, a space right here with these built-in 3D printed guards. I mean, this is, you put your Mortal T here, antenna here, or dual receiver antenna here. XT60 is built in. You've got 3D print here, here. You've got CNC aluminum here. You've got guards on your feet. You've got thick six millimeter arms. That part's really cool, but you can't see it from here. If I pop this top, watch this. You're gonna be like, what? Pop that top off and look, right there in the middle, there was a piece of carbon. It was like a box with little wings that grab each arm and secure them together. And then you've got that rubber, which looks like it's for looks, but it's really not. It's kind of like a soft dampening in between. Arms are solid. I mean, I am impressed. This was really cool. And I've seen a lot of frames with the CNC aluminum, but then you have this huge gap here. Nah, uh not with these guys. They built in carbon right here, and this carbon clips into this, and this carbon clips into this, and gets sandwiched by this, and that gets pressed by this, and that gets held by that, and it just overall, absolutely impressive. So one of the first things I wanna do is get my Vista mounted, and I've got loads of options. You can see here in the back, we've got different offsets, 16 by 16, 20 by 20. We've got holes and grips and places to run wires. You've even got some extra stuff here if you're gonna run an Air Unit 03. You've got the adapters to get you on a regular camera, or you can go to the 03 camera, and you've got all the screws needed for the DJI 03 Air Unit. They've literally made this so you can fly it any which way you want. And that's pretty awesome. And that has to go with uh, Walk Snail and Fat Shark and all these other ones too, if you wanna run HD of any length at all. All right, so with our flight controller connected to our Vista, we're ready to go ahead and mount this guy. All right, then I like to spin this up just a bit so my wires aren't all over the place. Boom. And that's gonna mount there, that's gonna mount there, and that's gonna mount there. All right, so let's go ahead and get some mounting screws. And because they've given us so many options, this really shouldn't be a problem at all. And there you go. That sucker is in there and ain't going nowhere. Phew, holy moly. I was a little bit like pulling teeth, you know? Next up is gonna be our ESC. And I wanna mount this here, but you can see the dilemma that we're gonna have, right? Now we need to go ahead and cut this heat shrink so I can relocate these wires because it's just too beefy and it's not gonna work and I don't wanna lose my cap. <clears throat> just to give you a slight explanation of what just happened because a lot just went on. I had installed my Vista Everything was great. Then I realized I can't get to this connector and I would have had to run my leads out the side, blah, 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 blah. So what I did is I put the spacers that this came with and I lifted up this VTX and I put my power leads underneath. So now they're over here, see them? And now I just gotta get them on to the ESC. And this is not what you generally want. You want to hard solder your capacitor directly to your ESC. That way as it's coming out of the XT60 lead, it's going straight in, boom, you're getting all the filtration you can. It has been tested and it has been proven that you do lose some of your filtration by moving this. Is it minuscule? Probably. It's not gonna affect anything. We gotta have it. And it's just simply not gonna fit right here because as you can see, if I was to put the top on, I mean, it just it just wouldn't work. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get this guy laid up in here and I'm gonna solder those over there. 
boom. That allows me to put in my capacitor, just not where I <laughs> exactly wanted it, but it'll be in, all right? So I'm gonna try to tilt this upwards just a little bit, as you can see here, and then maybe I can lay it here. Yep, that should work, okay. And then I'll have to see about getting a zip tie or something like that on there. So right here, I'm pretty sure this is made for a zip tie to go through and strap something that's on the other side, but I don't believe it's supposed to be a capacitor. It's actually supposed to be your camera uh, lead. See it running right there? Ideally, you wanna strap that down, but positive and ground are connected to my capacitor. I'll make sure those wires kind of squeeze by right there. Take my flight controller, put a couple spins, make sure my arrow is going in the correct direction. <clears throat> we also want to plug it in. It's kind of hard to get your fingers in there. And boom. What do you think, huh? Looking good. Damn. All right, let's see what comes with the motor. We've got our M5 nut. I'm going to go ahead and spin that on a nice gloss black color. Looks good with the purple. Then we have some M3 hardware. I'm going to take one and pass it through and see what we're looking like. Oh, uh, look at that. We ain't got but two or three threads there. That's just not going to cut it. It's not going to cut it at all. Nine millimeter sounds good. Let's see. Oh, ho, 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 ho. There they are. Let me grab one, and I'm gonna pass it through. It better not be the same one that came with the motor. Oh, <laughs> look at that. We got plenty of threads, we got what we need. Shout out, fly fish. And you wanna see how I check that? I pass my screw through, and then I'll set this in front of it. See that? I am gonna grab every single thread with no problems. Fly fish does hook you up with a set and it's one of my personal favorites. So, just enough for my motors ooh, 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 to pop up over it, okay? You just kind of gently set that right there. All right, there we go, we're going in. And then you just slide them through, do you see that? Can you see that? Ooh, ooh, ooh. Boom, and then what I'll do is I'll grab my tweezers and I'll just pull those out. I got this last one being a little stubborn. I'll give it a little push like that. And then I'll pull them out. Now you can grab them by hand. And what I like is the wires aren't ever going to cross each other inside. You're not going to have the wires go like that. There's just not going to happen. There's not enough space inside of there. We've already got Loctite on this first motor. So we're pretty much set right there. I'm going to pull this down just a hair. And then last but not least, my fourth one. Boom. Now, once all four are in and set, see that? All four screws are in. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come around just like I'm doing a car tire. Ugh. I'm gonna go. Ugh. All right, there you go. We've got a motor in and on, and holy cow, she's a beauty. If these motors are as strong as they are good looking, eh, we'll be in good shape. These are beautiful motors. They are called Flash. All right, let's tin our pads. One, two, and three. There you go, three beautiful blobs. And I'm gonna grab the third one. And there you go. So we've got all three wires soldered up. <clears throat> Looking good. All right, pilots, I am so excited. Let's get the rest of these motors on. I'm gonna solder them up. I'm gonna go ahead and take care of that now. Clean this mess up, cause good Lord. And then we're gonna meet back here. We're gonna spin that like that. I wanna put some uh, nylon nuts right here to hold my stack down just because, you know, they can move around. Let's go ahead and pop this top plate on cause that is a beautiful piece of the puzzle. Look at that. Whoa, did you see the way that slides over the XT60? Yeah. All right, let's go ahead and grab my driver. I am absolutely impressed. We are ready to power this guy up. And no, I won't be doing it with a bare lipo. I'm gonna pop that in. Oh, that went in nice. 
I'm gonna grab my power supply. If you don't have a power supply, you should definitely, definitely make one. I have a full video on how to make your own power supply. I'll link that for you down in the video description. If you don't want to make one, you can go ahead and buy one. I have some links down there for that as well. But the idea is I've got 20 volts running through here. Watch this. Nothing. Yeah, you hear a pop sound, but it has reverse polarity protection or short circuit protection. It keeps it from breaking your drone. So I'm going to pop on my ground and we're going to pop on our positive and let's hope for the best. Damn what I do this thing. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. <laughs> now I need to jump in and set it all up, but before I do, there is one final touch. Yes, they gave us a very interesting customized battery pad. Look at that. So that keeps your battery from sliding around. No, like Uma Grip. I just picked up the quad. You know what I'm saying? I know you all know that's true because Umagrip serves. But this, look, I mean, that's that's holding it. It ain't going nowhere. It's 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 doing its thing. All right, pilots, that is going to do it for our Volador BX5 by Flyfish RC. I am absolutely impressed with this so far. I can't wait to take it out to the sky. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to jump in a beta flight. I'm going to set up my new stag. I'm going to go ahead and get my quad bound to my radio, goggles, the works, and we're going to take this thing out. We're going to try it out. I'm going to put some footage for you guys. Hopefully, you guys are as impressed as I am. Hopefully, you guys will go out and get your own Volador too. I hope that you enjoyed this video, and I will see you on the next one. Woo! I got a Scotty and Rose, big boss like I'm Rose. Ice and Winnie's, that's a dome, man. Low baddie, yeah, she homemade. Wrap my city at the home game. Up and down, and go both ways. And the sprinter is taking up both lanes. Hopping, we zoom in, the package be booming. Yeah, we got it, we got it, got it. She picking and choosing in love with the moment. Yeah, we got it, we got it, got it. They cannot do what we doing. You see how we moving, we got it, we got it, got it. Mess with the squad, you try to try to go against us, I highly doubt it. All of my bros, we got it, got it. They know for sure, we got it, got it. Been on a roll, we got it, got it. We cannot go without it, out it. Mess with the squad, you try to try to go against us. I highly doubt it. Been on a roll, we got it, got it. We cannot go without it, out it. I be on anxiety, can't mess with the toxic. Curvy little body be all on me. Keeping it spicy, you know that I got it. If she need it, just call on me. Run up a tab, we running it back. Little mama, yeah, you a ball on me. Ride with me, we go wrong, wrong. Get inside, yeah, it goes on. So. Hoppin', we zoom in, the package be booming. Yeah, we got it, we got it, got it. She picking and choosing in love with the moment. Yeah, we got it, we got it, got it. They cannot do what we doing. You see how we moving, we got it, we got it, got it. Mess with the squad, you try to try to go against us, I highly doubt it. All of my bros, we got it, got it. They know for sure we got it, got it. Been on a roll, we got it, got it. We cannot go without it, out it. Mess with the squad, you try to try to go against us, I highly doubt it. Been on a roll, we got it, got it. We cannot go without it, out it. I dare them to try me, they know that I got it. I make a deposit. They all